is Julia Bassinet, and I am with Campaign Life Coalition Youth. Last week, NDP MLA Jennifer Bowes introduced bubble zone legislation in Saskatchewan, Bill 605, an act to provide safe access to abortion services. For those familiar with bubble zone legislations in Ontario, it is almost the exact same bill, and for those not familiar with the bill, it is basically this. Pro-life activism and pro-life protesting would be illegal potentially up to 150 meters around abortion facilities. Even so much as a disapproving conversation about abortion would be illegal. If one is caught doing so, they are subject to being arrested without a warrant. Upon first arrest, they may be fined up to $5,000 and imprisoned up to six months. Upon subsequent offense, they may be fined up to $10,000 and imprisoned up to a year. Think about that. You can potentially spend six months in prison for a conversation that the government doesn't like. Meanwhile, Jordan Hunt, a man who physically assaulted a pro-lifer exercising her constitutional right to freedom of expression and assembly, only received eight months probation. You know, MLA Jennifer Bowes keeps talking about how this bill is designed to protect women seeking abortion and the healthcare providers committing abortion from harassment. But this bill doesn't prohibit harassment, which is already illegal, by the way. It prohibits our constitutional right to protest at the locations where babies are being killed. So I guess in her head, protesting and expressing a differing opinion, at least with regards to abortion, is harassment. And if it is harassment, then why not make it illegal everywhere? This type of legislation is not how a free society operates, it is how a communist regime operates. What the heck is the point of having the right to protest if you can only protest what and where the government dictates? I mean, they may as well designate an acre of land up in the Northwest Territories where pro-lifers can protest once every 15 years. You know, some people will look at this and think, yes, it's wrong, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not like we aren't allowed to protest at all. But taking away a population's rights is a lot like a frog in boiling water. If it happens too quickly, we'll jump out, but with a slow burn taking small, gradual steps, we will be boiled into the gulags. And I exaggerate, but only slightly. This is why we not only need to stop the Saskatchewan government from restricting the right to protest, but reverse the restrictions on protesting that apply exclusively to pro-lifers in Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland and Labrador. So please, sign our petition against Bill 605, available on CampaignLifeCoalition.com. Even if you're not from Saskatchewan, share it with everybody you know, and keep an eye out for our Action Alert email campaign that is coming soon.